Hello everyone. I am Sachin Thakur, working as an assistant professor in mechanical engineering department from Walton Stop Technology, Solapur. Today, we will see the part three of the cam and follower. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have seen the part one and part two, in which we had covered the uh, basic classifications of cam and followers. Also, we have seen. the terminology used in the cam so in this lectures we will see at the end of this session learner will able to understand the displacement velocity and acceleration diagram when the follower moves with uniform velocity so in that we will see the motion of the follower so we can pause this video and you can think about that whether the follower moves with any different motion means what the cam is rotated with uniform velocity with uniform angular velocity so whether is it required to move the follower with certain different motion you have to think about this the follower during its travels may have one of the following motion first one the displacement velocity and acceleration diagrams when the follower moves with the uniform velocity second the displacement velocity and acceleration diagram when the follower moves with simple harmonic motion third one displacement velocity and acceleration diagram when the follower moves with uniform acceleration and retardation and the last one is displacement velocity and acceleration diagram when the follower moves with cycloidal motion so these are the four types of motion of the follower first one the follower moves with uniform velocity second one the follower moves with the simple harmonic motion third one the follower moves with the uniform acceleration and retardation and the fourth one the follower moves with the cycloidal motion so from these four types of the motion of the followers we will see the first that is a follower moves with uniform velocity so for finding the motion of the followers that is moving with the uniform velocity firstly you have to able to understand how to draw the displacement velocity and acceleration diagram when the follower moves with the uniform velocity so firstly we will see how to draw the displacement velocity and acceleration diagram when the follower moves with uniform velocity so firstly we will draw the displacement diagram this vertical line indicates the motion of the follower or the displacement of the follower that is also called as stroke length or lift of the follower so this will gives you the displacement y axis this is a x axis indicating the angular displacement of the cam so if we rotate the cam then we are observing that the follower will get rise for certain angular rotation of the cam then the followers will dwell or it remains at constant position for certain period of the time that is called as a dwell so like this we are getting the displacement of the follower for certain angular displacement of the cam then the follower will fall for certain angular displacement of the follower that is called as return stroke like this and again the followers remains at lowest position for certain angular displacement that is called as dwell so these diagrams is highlighting the motion of the follower 
when the cam will rotates with a certain angular displacement this is called as displacement diagram when the follower moves with uniform velocity then you should know how to draw the velocity diagram so this is a horizontal line this lines we have projected from the initial point when the cam is just at rotating the y axis indicating the velocity just we have projected the line in which the rising of the followers occurs then dwell then return and again the dwell so like this we have projected the lines so as the displacement moves with the uniform velocity we are getting the velocity for the rising period is like this for the dwell period the velocity is zero again for the return the velocity we are getting like this velocity so the velocity is maximum at the rising period and the velocity minimum velocity for the return strokes we can get by this diagram again for the dwell period the velocity is zero so like this we are getting the velocity diagram this portion indicating the velocity at the rising of the cam this portion indicating the velocity is zero during this dwell period because the follower will not move up and down for the dwell period it remains at the constant position and for the return stroke we are getting the velocity that is a vr velocity for the return stroke this again for the dwell period the followers remains at constant position so the velocity is zero so we are getting like this diagram so this is called as a velocity diagram now we will see the acceleration diagram so the vertical line indicating the acceleration so if you observe that within zero time the velocity we are getting at infinite uh, at finite value as the velocity within zero times we are getting at the finite value it means that the acceleration at that point is at infinity similarly at this point we are getting the acceleration at infinity because within zero times we are getting the infinite value of acceleration because of the velocity the time required for the velocity is zero so we are getting the infinite value of the acceleration so like this we are getting the value of the acceleration is at infinite in the actual practice the infinite accelerations we are not getting so we have done some modifications in the displacement velocity and acceleration diagram so this is a modified displacement velocity acceleration diagram when the follower moves with the uniform velocity just in the velocity diagrams we had given us the uniform velocity so we are getting the acceleration at finite level so like this we are getting the acceleration diagram so here for getting the uniform velocity we had done some parabolic natures of the displacement diagram then and then only we are getting the acceleration in the finite level so this is a displacement velocity acceleration diagram when the followers move with the uniform velocity so in this diagrams we are getting that how to draw the displacement diagram so if you observe this displacement diagram so in which the followers will get rise 
then it will get dwell then it will get return strokes again it will get dwell stroke so this is a motion of the follower when the cam will get rotate with angular velocity means the cam will rotates with the constant angular velocity at that time when we required the motion of the followers will be in the uniform velocity at that time we have to draw the displacement diagram like this and we have to transmit the motion or the transmit the displacement in the cam profile so like that we are generating the cam profile if we generate the cam profile by referring this displacement diagram then and then only we will get the follower motions will be in the uniform velocity okay so by this lectures we will understand how to draw the displacement velocity and acceleration diagrams when we require the follower moves with uniform velocity so for this lecture i have taken the references so these are my references thank you